So did uh, did you and Andre get along pretty good? Yeah. Let me tell you why I got along with Andre. Okay. And you're gonna call me whatever you're gonna call me. Mm. Um, but but there's a thing where you kiss the posterior, uh, <laughs> whatever. Go ahead and get it over with. Um, it was December 28th, my birthday. It was 1985. So I just turned 31. I go into the Buffalo Auditorium. I bet that was torn down before you ever got to Buffalo. Yeah. But it was an old, miserable building with a lot of history. Yeah. And I promise you the snow was this high oh. in Buffalo. Okay. And so what happens is, and by the way, Toronto always laughs at Buffalo because even though Toronto was further north, uh, Buffalo gets the lake effect and they get they get all the snow. Mm. So Toronto laughs at Buffalo. That's the big joke. Okay. So my point is I get there early and everybody's there early because it's a blizzard. And Pat Patterson sees me and he says, boy, look at poor Andre. He's going to be here for four hours and he doesn't have a deck of cards. So when Andre's in trouble, I am not slow. It's hip, 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 and away I go. <laughs> I go out there, and I find there's about 20 arena rats hanging around that door. I got the least attractive one, and I said, come here, please. I said, here's $10. Please go to uh, any place in Buffalo and come back with a deck of playing cards. And she says, oh, okay, I'll do it. And I said, as soon as you come back, tell this Andy Fran Usher. And, and I, I got him, and he will tell me uh, down the stairs to come on up and we can do that. So it, was, it didn't take her long. And she came back like the abominable snowman. She was like she had been in a blizzard. She gives me a bag. And it wasn't just playing cards. It was bicycle, the finest in the world. Oh. Okay, so poor Andre is sitting there. He's looking sad, miserable, and you know he had a bad back. He was he was yeah. in terrible. The Andre of the seventies was a great worker. The Andre of the eighties was a horrible, uh, painful, uh, and the opponent had better do it all because he couldn't anymore. Right. He couldn't. He couldn't in his younger days. I said, Andre, voila, and he looks at me. And a tear comes into no his shit. eye. And he says, Merci beaucoup, monsieur. And he, and he grabs me by my, you know, I got a big head, but he has big, his fingers yeah. were this big. And he had me and he gives me the kiss here and a kiss here. I knew better than to fight him. <laughs> okay. And I was just glad that's all they wanted. Right. So, <laughs> so anyway, from then on, he called me boss man. A couple of years go by and he says, Lenny, come to my room. I said, uh-oh. He said, I, be, I gotta go to his room. He says, Lenny, anything on the menu you want, please. He says, uh, and so I get room service. I get uh, red wine and everything's nice and this and that. And, and then he takes a VHS tape, puts it in, and guess what it was? The Princess Bride. Yes, and it was before anybody got a chance to see it. Oh, wow. wow. Yeah, it was, a, it was on videotape right. before the movie came out. Oh. So I'm watching, and he keeps looking at me to see what I'm reacting. And I kept doing that. And uh, then he said, Lenny, what did you think of my performance? And I said, Andre, it sucked. You are horrible. No, I didn't <laughs> yeah, that. right. You know better than that. I said, Andre, it was fantastic. You are the greatest. Um, nobody could have done that but you, and that's true. Yeah. Who's gonna Who's gonna play that role? Right. But Andre the Giant. They They built that role for him. Yeah. So then, here's the next problem. Every night, he would say, Lonnie, come to my room. He'd feed me again. We'd play the watch the movie again. He'd ask me what I thought again. Wow. 
So I think I, I can't remember if I was there six or seven times. And then I realized I cannot say no to this man. Right. Okay. And if, if he didn't like my baby oil, I wouldn't have, I promise you, I would have drank it before I put it on, <laughs> you know? So, so then I did, I said, I can't say no to him. And I just can't watch that movie again. It would have been more interesting if I was in it, right, but right. since I wasn't. So what I did was I hid from him and about five days later, he said, Lonnie, I've been looking all over for you. I said, oh, she's, uh, he's got me. So I don't know how many times I was in his, but I gained a lot of weight from that. And, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, it's kind of interesting. Now you tell me that story. You think Andre had um, like loneliness issues? You think he was a lonely guy? Well, I have no idea what it's like to be that big right. and go out and everybody stares at you. Mm. And um, he had friends like Tim White, but Tim White wasn't always there. Right. And Tim Tim White just passed away about yes. six months ago. Yeah, Did right. you know him? Yeah, yeah. Awesome, awesome guy. Great guy. Yeah, everybody liked him. Yeah. Um, and I don't know. Yeah, probably lonely. I bet there's a lot of psychological problems associated with being a giant, mm. you know. So, um, but he was... He either loved you or didn't, you know. Yeah. With and uh, with, if you check out rest, my go on my uh, website, thegeniuslannypapo.com, you'll see there was a battle royal. I took a headbutt. He threw me out of the ring, and I had blood on NBC. Oh, okay. To get him to get him ready as a heel for Hulk Hogan for ninety three thousand people. Yeah. So, anyway, that was my station in life, and. Um, my big payoff number one i didn't make the card number two i didn't get a bonus in my money number three <laughs> yeah so the only thing the honor of having served the wwe right. was my was my reward let me ask you a question like um when i was there like i got a a, a, a payday for just being at wrestlemania did you get one of those back then or no like I, I didn't uh, for at 21. I wasn't on the card, but I got paid just to be there. No, they didn't do that for me. Oh, okay. And now the hell with it. I'm leaving. Okay. No. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> no. Let's put it this way. All's, all's well that ends well. Yeah. Okay. And if your passive income is greater than your monthly expenses, the game's over and you win. Okay. Uh, you are the genius, Lanny.